Okay, boys and girls, listen, we're going to do a little bit of playing around with triangles today because it's really important that we understand uh, how triangles are created. The first and most important thing is that triangles must have three sides. One, two, three. A triangle cannot be made with four sides. It'll end up being a quadrilateral no matter what. So triangles have to have three sides. One, two, three. And they can have uh, a right angle like this one. This is a triangle. I haven't finished making it yet, but you can see here that this has a right angle. How do I know? I can check with a piece of paper right there. See, that's a right angle. Now, when I make this triangle um, with the right angle, my third line of my triangle is going to be really, really long. So you can kind of see through my made-believe, make-believe document camera here that my third line on my triangle is really really long when I do a right when I have a right angle so you just have to pretend that this is like one pen so here's my triangle that has a right angle if there's a right angle in a triangle and we know this is true we know that that is a right angle in the triangle the other two angles are little see this one's little it's just this big it's an acute angle and this one's little. So we have some new words to learn today. Let me put my document camera back on my water bottle. We have some new words to learn today. So we know that a small angle, an angle that is less than 90, we learned them last week and we just called them less than 90. Well, we are learning this new word today called acute. So an acute angle is the angle that is small. Now, the next word that we're going to learn today is another kind of word, weird word, and the word is obtuse, okay? Uh, we don't really use it very much, but I need to, I need to use these words because I know you're going to need them for next year when you're a fourth grade or in nine-year-old class. An obtuse angle is one that is bigger than 90. So if I start with a 90-degree angle and I make it bigger and I go, Wah, then it has... Then it's a bigger angle. Now, I if I want to make this angle, this obtuse angle, into a triangle, I have to make this line go there. Okay? Now you can see that this is one really, really long line. And then this one is an obtuse angle. If this one is an obtuse angle, what would you call these little angles? Acute right? Because this one's so big, the other two angles are always going to be small. Now, when we look back at that acute angle that we had before, the first one, this acute angle, if I wanted to close this triangle and put a third angle there, oh, sorry, kind of made a mess there. That's okay. If I made it like this, now, would you? what would you call that angle? Is that an angle that is small? Is it a less than angle or is it a greater than angle, I would say it's less, right? Because it's small. So this one's small, this one's small, and this one kind of looks like my uh, right angle again. I didn't even try to. Let me guess, let me measure that. No, it is not a right angle. It's actually a little bit bigger than a right angle. So if it's either acute, uh, it's either acute, it's obtuse, or it's right. Those are the only names for the angles in a triangle. It can either be right, right, like 90 degrees exactly, making that perpendicular line, or it's obtuse, meaning it's really big, or it's little, little like cute, it's little. So when we are, are when we're going to look at angle uh, triangles, we're going to look at these three things all the time. Ang triangles always have three angles, and then we can identify the name of those angles. So just for fun, just for fun, I'm going to take my my markers here, and I want you to kind of do the same thing. And I want you to take three pens, and I want you to put them together and make a triangle. Okay? So I made a triangle, and I have a small angle here. I'm going to call it acute. I have a small angle here, acute, and a small angle here. I'm going to call that acute. Now I'm going to try to make a bigger one. So if I want to make a, a triangle that has a really big angle, like, 
you know, like my obtuse angle before, I have to stretch my marker and kind of add, make my third line really, really long. This is still a triangle. Just have to pretend that that's one big magical long pen. You know those cool pens we have. This is still a triangle. It still has three sides. One, two, three. This is an angle that's really little. We call it acute. It's so cute. And this angle is really little. It's a cute angle. And then this one is big. It's really big. It's way bigger than a 90 degree angle, right? It's like more than 90. So it actually has a number. It'd probably be like 110. It's a pretty big angle. So let me try to make another angle, a triangle with three. I could go really skinny like this and pretend that my third line on my, on my triangle is really little, okay? I have acute, acute, and acute. I can have three acute angles in my triangle. I can have one obtuse angle, but I can't make more than one obtuse angle. If I tried to make two obtuse angles, if I make this one really big, and then I try to make this one really big, uh, hey, folks, I, I, get, I can't close this. This is not a triangle because it has to only have three sides. So I'm, what I'm trying to explain is that a triangle has to only have three sides and then the angles have their names, all right? Their angles have uh, the names and that describes what the size of those angles are. Acute, acute, obtuse. I could do right, right. I mean, a right angle, my two pens. I could do a right angle with two acute, and I could do three little acute angles, all of them being tiny and little, a little skinny little triangle, like an ice cream cone. That's what it makes me think of. It's like a little tiny skinny ice cream cone. It's a skinny triangle. How skinny can you make? Let's see, if I use this one and this one, how skinny of a triangle can I make? Yeah, look at that. Look at the tiny little angles in there. All right, so that's a good little review of, uh, of angles on triangles. Play around with them.